Hey there, YouTube friends. This past weekend, we gave our bathroom a makeover. We had an old laminate countertop and cabinet, so we decided to do it over and make it up to date. Uh, we started with the countertop, and we used the Gianni chocolate paint to do that. That was about uh, 50 bucks. And then we redid the doors, and all I did was buy some molding, cut it to length, and glue it onto the cabinet doors. And that cost about $15, and uh, the door handles were another eight. So a relatively inexpensive project to do. We also redid the mirror. We had a slab mirror on the wall. I took it down, I cut it, and I made a frame for it. That cost about $20 just for the molding and paint. And we also did some extras. Uh, Rita repurposed some drapes to make a shower curtain, and I put up this Sprite shower head. And uh, it was a relatively cheap but fun job to do over the weekend, and uh, it turned out pretty well. So this first video we're going to do is the Gianni countertop. And for all the other projects we did, I'll put video links below in the description box. So here we go. The first step is to prepare the old countertop. And we have to remove all the caulk. So here we're removing the caulk by scoring it with a utility knife. Then we get a putty knife and scrape all the caulk out. Once that's done, we take a washcloth with some rubbing alcohol on it and get all the residue from the caulk off the surface of the countertop. Once that's all done, we get a scouring pad and we rough up the countertop. After we get done doing that, we rinse the countertop twice with water and then we're ready to move on. Step two is to prime the countertop. And you can see here that we taped along the wall to prevent any primer getting on the wall. And we uh, painted the backsplash first and then we do the cut-ins. And now it's just a matter of rolling out the primer onto the surface. And once you get the whole surface covered, you let it dry. We let it dry overnight, and then we moved on to step three, which is adding the color. All right, so the base coat is dry now. We let it dry overnight, and now we're going to put the color on. We have it laid out. Um, this is the chocolate brown color. So we have 2A, 2B, and 2C. We're going to put them on with the sponge. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab it in this first color. I'm going to knock the excess off on the plate. Now I'm just going to lightly start to put it on. Using very little pressure. So now I'm going to take a little piece and I'm just going to go along the edges. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the next color. labeled 2B. Same thing. Load it up. Knock some off. Now we're going to just put this color on. dark color.
going out the counter. Goes on kind of thick, this stuff. Kind of tacky. the final top coat and put it on and then we'll let this dry and when we'll be done we'll put everything back here's a final look at the countertop makeover we're really pleased with the way it turned out and we really like the way the whole bathroom turned out in the description box below I'll uh, include some videos on how we did all the other projects to complete the whole bathroom makeover. Those links include how to do the cabinet doors, how to frame the mirror, the shower curtain, and the shower head as well. Anybody could do these projects. They're really easy to do and they're relatively cheap. As always, happy home improvement. Please subscribe and I will catch you next time.